The CEO of British Oil and Gas Industry Association says that UK does not need to halt drilling in the North Sea. Malcolm Webb of Oil and Gas UK says deep water drilling regulations in the UK are better than those in the US. So a disaster like the one in the Gulf of Mexico is unlikely. Britain has not placed a moratorium on deep water drilling in the North Sea, but lawmakers are considering such a move. A government agency in August said that accidental leaks or major injuries to workers on offshore platforms have increased in the last one year. Crude prices are expected to decline this week on bearish technical indicators, rising inventories and improving refinery utilization rates. Meanwhile, natural gas is likely to trade higher on bullish technical trends and higher demand. Oil prices may trade lower this week on rising inventories. Last week, U.S. Energy Information Administration reported that crude oil stockpiles rose. Meanwhile, Baker Hughes' rig count stands at 977, up four from the penultimate week. Rising rig counts and higher refinery utilization shows an increase in production, leading to a decline in oil prices. Moving on, Samson Oil and Gas Limited advises that it has closed on the first sale of 19,451 acres of its Denver Julesburg Basin acreage interest in Goshen County, Wyoming, for $63.7 million in cash. The amount that includes $10 million US dollars deposit previously received by Samson from the buyer. A second closing is scheduled for next week beginning September the 20th. At the second closing, Samson will sell at the same price per acre, 1,920 acres associated with approved drilling permits, valued as 6.288 million US dollars. In addition, Samson expects that a further approved drilling permit will be accepted by the buyer before the second closing, so that another 1,339 acres valued at 4.385 million US dollars will be included. Samson also continues to work on resolving the title defects identified by the buyer relating to the remaining 1,056 acres subject to the purchase of agreement. But it is uncertain at this time as to how many of those defects can be cured prior to the second closing. It's all the news making ways as of now. We will be back with more.